What's going on guys, it's Barry from the Yanmar Academy. Today we're talking daily maintenance on the Yanmar SV08 Mini Excavator. All right, the tools we're gonna need today is a 12 millimeter socket, a ratchet, a grease gun. First thing we gotta do is we gotta pop the hood on the SV08. Right, so in order to lift the hood, we wanna grab this lever right at the front of the cover itself, go ahead and lift it up, and then just push the seat up and back. All right, so once we lift the hood, first thing we wanna do is we wanna find the engine oil dipstick located on the front side of the engine right here. Go ahead and grab your rag, wipe around that dipstick. You don't wanna transfer any dirt or debris from the engine into that dipstick tube. Otherwise, you take a chance of contaminating your engine oil. Go ahead and pull it out. With the rag, go ahead and wipe it down. Go ahead and reinsert it. Make sure it seats in all the way. Remove it. Then what we want to do is we want to look at our oil level. On our dipstick, we have a lower hole and an upper hole. You want the engine oil to be in between those two holes. If it's not showing above the first hole or the bottom hole, Go ahead and add some engine oil, you're a little bit low. If it's above the top hole, you're gonna to have to drain some. You've got too much engine oil. If your engine oil is low, you wanna come up here on top of the engine to the valve cover, find this little yellow cap. Go ahead, pull it off. Put your replacement oil in here. Make sure you put the cap back on, otherwise you'll get dirt and debris down inside of your engine, and that's bad for the oil. All right, so the next check is gonna be our engine coolant. We're gonna check it right here at the reservoir. On the reservoir bottle itself, it has a low mark and a full mark. You wanna make sure that the coolant is in between the low and the full. If it's too low, you wanna add some to it, you take a chance of the engine overheating. If it's too high, then you take a chance of it overpressurizing and blowing fluid all over the ground. This one's good, so we'll move on to the next check. All right, so next check is gonna be the battery. What you wanna do is come to the battery on top. There's a sight glass. What you wanna do is look at that sight glass. You're looking for one of three colors. First one's gonna be blue, which tells me that the battery's fully charged and good to go. If it's red, that means the battery's discharged and needs to be recharged. If it's white, then that means the battery's bad and needs to be replaced. This one here is blue, so we're good to go. All right, guys, so the next check is gonna be our governor linkage, which is right here. What we're doing is we're looking to make sure that all the bolts are tight, nothing's missing. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna reach up here to the throttle handle and shift our throttle to make sure that it moves and there is no binding. All right, we're good to go. All right, next what we wanna do is we wanna check all the rubber hoses in the engine compartment, make sure that they're all tight where they need to be at and there is no dry rotting. Give them all a nice little tug to make sure they're secure. And we're good to go. All right, so we've checked all the checks we've got to check in the engine compartment. We're gonna go ahead and close the hood. Go ahead and reach underneath the little silver bar, pull it forward a little bit, go ahead and drop the hood. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the excavator up to check the hydraulics. All right guys, so now the machine's ready to check the hydraulics. What you wanna do is come down here on the left side of the machine, look for this little sight glass. You wanna make sure that, that hydraulic oil is about halfway into that sight glass. This one here's a little low, so we need to top it off. In order to get to that, once again, we have to pop the hood. Once the hood's popped, right here is this little orange cap. This is where we fill our hydraulic fluid. The next check is going to be track tension. In order to check our track tension, we're going to have to swing the house off to the left side and lift this left side of the track up off the ground. Once again, operating the machine, safety first. Make sure you're wearing all your safety equipment. Good to go. All right guys, so once you get the track where it needs to be at, what you wanna do is you wanna check for this mark here, this triangle. Make sure it's set up with your first idler wheel. Once they're good, we can go ahead and pull this cover off with 12 millimeter socket and ratchet, and this is where we will adjust our track tension. Okay, so now we've got the plate off. You're gonna find your adjusting bolt for your track tension. If you've got to adjust track tension, go ahead and loosen up this retaining nut here and then adjust your track tension off this back side of the bolt here. When you go to measure your track tension, down here you want to measure for between 0.31 and 0.56 inches of play or free space between the bottom of my roller and my track. 
We've already checked this one. This one's good to go. All right, now that we're done with track tension, we'll go ahead and put the plate back in place. And just always remember that you do the other side of the track the exact same way as we did this side. All right, so now track tension's done. We're gonna go ahead and check all of our control handles, make sure they all work properly. We'll go ahead and fire up the machine. Controls are good. Now we'll go ahead and get ready for greasing. All right, so one of the last checks we're gonna do is probably one of the most important, but most often overlooked steps for daily maintenance, greasing the machine. On an excavator, grease is the lifeblood of these pins and bushings. A few dollars in grease could save you a few thousand dollars down the road in replacing pins and bushings. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is grab a rag and just wipe down all your grease search. You don't wanna transfer any dirt or debris into that grease search and take a chance of damaging it. All right, once we're done, we'll go ahead and grab the grease gun and start greasing up. Easiest way to do this, start at the bottom, work our way up and back towards the cab. What you wanna do is give two to three shots per grease fitting. There you have it guys, all done. On to the walk around. What we're doing here is we're gonna walk completely around the machine. We're looking for any nuts or bolts that may be loose or missing, as well as any fluid leaking that we may find. All right, so there you have it. Quick, simple, easy checks, but checks that are very important if you wanna keep your machine digging in the dirt for years to come. Until next time, I'll see you at the EMR Academy.